What's going on guys, it's bow underscore, and in this video I'm going to show you guys the uh, the render settings and Minecraft settings that I actually use in Minecraft. Now these settings will give you um, pretty high FPS in my opinion. So we're just going to go to our launcher and you know just might as well just name this whatever we want, main version of Minecraft. We're going to go down to 1.8.9. Now the last video I posted was like a, a glitch video, it was clickbait, obviously there's no glitch in the game, but um, I just thought that 1.8.9 just vanilla Minecraft gave me really good reach. Resolution you want to put to 1280 by 720. That's default 720 Minecraft. It'll give you pretty good resolution. Resolution actually helps your FPS a lot. You also want to make your JMG, JMM, 4 gigs. That's how many gigabytes you actually um, run with Minecraft. Most people have it default set to 1, but you definitely want to change that. So once we load up Minecraft, that's just my, you know, FOV 85, but pause the video here and copy these settings because these are good Minecraft settings to use. Render distance does go up to 13 in Minecraft. A lot of people think it's nine, but it's actually not. You can actually get pretty far reach, not yeah, yeah like render distance with it. Also that texture pack that I'd be using um, in my newest videos will also be in the description. But um, let's move on to our Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas is the editing program that I do use to record all of my videos. This is just a quicker render of what Sony Vegas can do. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So if you want your videos to sort of look like that, you can edit all of the settings and use the use the little mixture of things that they have Sony Vegas has to offer. But with rendering in Sony Vegas, I have the free version. I'm not going to spend that much money. You can easily Google how to get it. But you want to go down to the main core AVC and go down to Internet 1080. Everything else will be default, but you want to make your max frame rate 60 and then check mark the button above to make it default set to that. Audio, you can pause the video and change it. They're all default set. You press OK, and then you just press render, and that's it. It takes maybe 5 to 10 minutes, depending on your CPU core. But after that, it'll be crystal clear. It'll be clean. It'll be very small, and you can easily upload it to YouTube without any problems of it being over a gigabyte or two. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. A lot of people have been asking me to make this video, and I just thought I would do it. So, hope this helped. Hopefully, you use my settings, and take care.